Oh Lord, today we come to you humbled, Lord. Humbled and low. Lowly in our hearts and in our minds, Lord. Lord, we want to come before you today, Lord, with a heart filled with repentance. With a heart filled with the desire, Lord, to repent of all our sins. Lord, just like King David did in Psalm 51, he came to you with a heart filled with remorse, filled with sorrow. And he understood, Lord, that when we displease you, Lord, it's not a good thing, Lord. When we displease you, Lord, it has wide-ranging consequences, Lord. So, Lord, we come to you today and we ask that you would forgive us our sins as we pray through Psalm 51, a prayer of repentance. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. These, O oh God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. Lord, we are before you today, Lord. Heads bowed, knees bowed, Lord God, before you. And Lord, we just want to say that we are coming to you in repentance, Lord, for every area of our lives that does not line up with your will and your way. Lord, we consider our sin, Lord, the sin of going our own way the sin of greed, of jealousy, the sin of doubt, the sin of unbelief, Lord God, the sin of selfishness, violence, anger, wickedness, Lord God, the sins of bitterness, rage, the sins of covetousness, Lord, the sins of worshipping other idols. Lord, our sins are before us. Long lists, Lord, of areas that we are not operating well in, Lord. Our Lord, we may have chosen to pretend that everything is okay and that, you know, we're doing well. But Lord, when we look before you, Lord, we see our sinful nature. 
and we see it in stark contrast to your goodness, your purity, your holiness, your glory. And Lord, we are undone. We truly are undone. Oh Lord, would you have mercy on our souls, Lord God? Would you have mercy on our souls today, Lord? Lord, we can only ask you for mercy. We can only ask you to extend your hand of grace over us, Lord. Lord, we have tried, but we understand that we need to rest in you, Lord God, to really experience victory over so many areas of sin. Lord, where we've tried to write things down and tried to be better with little lists, with things that we say to ourselves, I'm not going to do that again and tomorrow is going to be better. Lord, I pray that today you would help us to transfer our trust from ourselves to you and ask you today for help. Lord, would you help us, Lord? Lord, would you cleanse us? Would you wash us? Would you wash us, Lord? Would you wash us clean? Lord, would you create that clean heart inside us, Lord God? Lord, would you strengthen that steadfast spirit within us, Lord? Oh, Lord, we desire you. We desire you so much, Lord. And we just pray, Lord, that you would see our hearts today. Lord, you would understand that we truly are repentant, Lord. Lord, we may have a sinful nature, Lord, but we also know we have the choice to choose you. We have the choice to choose you to choose to deny ourselves daily and to pick up our cross and to follow you. So Lord, help us never to have the excuse that we can live lives that are substandard, that do not line up to your will and your way. Lord, we know that we can do all things through you, Christ, who strengthens us. And so Lord, today we reject all excuses. Lord, we reject all inadequacies all iniquities, Lord God, and we say sorry, Lord. We come before you and we thank you, Lord, for that clean heart that you're creating within us, Lord. But we thank you, Lord, that you see into our inner parts, into our innermost being, and that you desire truth. And Lord, we give you truth today. Lord, even as we're praying, with every situation, with every behavior, with every attitude that's not from you, Lord, Lord, would it come to mind, Lord God, so we can give you the truth of what we need help with, Lord. Would you help us this day, Lord God? We hand you everything that's in our mind right now. And we thank you, Lord, for the power of prayer, Lord, to bring things before you, Lord, to be truthful, Lord, and to be repentant, Lord. Repentant means to pray and to repent, to, to be sorry, for our sins and to go in the opposite direction, Lord, in a direction that pleases you and that reflects your nature and who we are in you. Lord, today we put down our selfishness and we chase after you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that you're creating clean hearts in all of us, Lord God. Clean hearts, Lord. Clean hearts, pure motives, Lord God. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen.